readers' responses to a woman's journey living with Alzheimer's. More than 5 million Americans are believed to have Alzheimer's, a majority of whom are 65 and older. The wicked disease slowly robs individuals of their memories as family members and friends try desperately to understand their loved one's behavior and emotions. That journey and shared experience was repeated in readers' comments to a New York Times article about Jerry Taylor, a 72-year-old woman with Alzheimer's who is learning to adjust to her worsening condition. Ms. Taylor opened up to the Times as an R. Confield over a span of 20 months about her frustrations, as well as moments of joy, living with Alzheimer's. Most readers who responded to the article about Miss Taylor shared their personal connections with the debilitating disease. There were those who provided caregiving tips and others who demanded that more research be conducted about Alzheimer's and that more attention be given to it. A selection of the comments. Personal Insights I notice that I lose names, sometimes names that I have mentioned in conversation just moments ago. And it isn't so much the loss, I can usually come up with a suitable pronoun, but it is the discouraging feeling that the name lies just on the far side of a tiny membrane but could be deep in space in terms of its availability. It sometimes comes back to me within seconds, sometimes minutes, occasionally hours but, so far, always. On the other hand I can always tell you that I lost a spelling bee to Juanita Myers in the fifth grade, the word was necessary, I misspelled it with two C's. John David Bergener, 68, Trenton. One day, I asked my mother if she ever wondered why I called her mom. She hadn't called me anything except you during those five years. She looked at me with the kindness in her eyes that Alzheimer's never robbed her of and said, well, I didn't want to say anything to hurt your feelings so I just go along with it, thinking you are confused or lonely. But you're a very nice girl. I was 54 years old, funny, in that heartbreaking way, it still makes me smile and cry at the same time, nearly a decade after her passing. Janice Bailey, 63, Austin, Tex. My very intelligent aunt realized that she was in early stage Alzheimer's at around age 80 and said, I won't remember one word of this conversation but I love talking to you. So we talked as long as she was able. She lived to be 100 years old and I think she had wonderful communication in a world we do not see and understand. Hope so. My husband had Alzheimer's. He died two years ago. One of his first symptoms was not being able to find things. People with Alzheimer's no longer have short-term memory. They are not able to retrace their steps. When he would lose something, I would think, when did I last see him with it? When did he last use it? Then I would retrace his steps and find it. He would say, how did you do that, you do that? 